Good morning and Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I hope uh, this finds you rested and well on Shabbat, uh, that you're uh, enjoying the rest of the Lord. Uh, this morning, I wanted to take a little time and talk about prayer. Uh, I grew up in a Christian tradition, and basically, as I was saying bedtime prayers in the evening, we would always fold our hands and 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 uh, fold our hands, uh, you know, one over top of the other or, or intermingled like this. You know, we, we were even taught kind of, uh, you know, this is the church and this is a steeple and open the doors, you know, and we'll see all the people. Um, you know, and, and that was kind of a little thing that they used to do to kind of get us to, you know, realize that we needed to fold our hands. And, you know, people fold their hands like this, people fold their hands like this. But in Scripture... Uh, in Timothy, it actually talks about lifting up holy hands. So uh, many times in, in uh, charismatic circles, you'll see people with their hands up, their hands raised. Um, but a lot of times I don't think they even realize why they do it. Um, it's, uh, it actually goes back much farther than people think. So, but as, uh, as we go this morning, I'll, I'll explain a little bit, but we, uh, we assume this position of lifting up holy hands. And a lot of times you'll see uh, a man at the wall and he's holding a, a prayer book and he's, he, he's bobbing back and forth. And that's, that's called davening. And basically what it is, it's a sim, symbol of kneeling. So, and then sometimes you'll see them wave their hands back and forth to the left and to the right. And that is uh, a wave, like a wave offering, a wave of thanksgiving. And uh, sometimes you'll see people go like this. And I know I do this myself when I feel the presence of the Lord. And it's just like covering yourself with the presence of the Lord. But when you're praying, it says to lift up holy hands in Timothy. So why, why would that be important? So with Jewish tradition, as we look back, we always see things forward in, in the New Testament and that are present in the Old and where it actually goes back to is the battle with uh, Moses and uh, Joshua and the Amalekites. They were fighting a battle. And Moses, when he would lift up his hands, the Israelites would be winning. And when his hands would start to fall, the battle would start going the other direction. So Aaron and Ur come alongside and lifted up his hands and helped him lift up his hands. And that's symbolic of, of praising the Lord, lifting your hands to the Lord. And that's how far back it goes. Now, uh, today we pray many times uh, in, in Messianic faith. Uh, sometimes I just sit in a chair and I pray. So it, I'm not always lifting up my hands, but there is a time for lifting up your hands. Uh, the Israelites also, at different times when things were bad, they would tear their garments and they would lay prostrate before the Lord. I know uh, some countries, it's, it's very common uh, to lay prostrate before the Lord. So there are positions for prayer. Uh, there are positions for different situations. And uh, we, we have to be mindful of those. But you see, lifting up holy hands. So uh, I hope that helps a little bit this morning uh, in your journey. I hope that uh, you're finding the blessings of the Lord in your life every day and that you see his goodness in the land of the living now more than ever. Shabbat Shalom, everybody.